Hey guys, all right, it's Monday. Hope you guys had a great weekend. We've been busy, busy, busy. And uh, so uh, today I promised you guys I would show you the finished product on this three by three sign, this three by three custom sign. And I am and I'm not, uh, let me explain. Uh, the pour that we did the other day that you guys watched this pour, well, I was in such a hurry that I poured two parts of resin and no parts hardener. That's not the way it's supposed to work. So after about a couple hours, we realized what had happened and we had to take, Vicky realized, excuse me, she's making gestures behind the camera. Vicky realized what I had done because it was me. This one was all me. Sometimes it's her. Him to Sometimes down. it's her, but this time it was all me. Anyway, we'll get past that. Uh, so we had to pretty much take all of that off and re-pour. And we did. And this time I mixed it correctly. Actually, Vicky mixed it correctly. But we had bubble issues. So let me show you. We had uh, several different spots in here. Yeah, hold it up more so we get... Yeah. Several different spots. You can first explain that you did... Down here, um, I've already ground a few of them out, but there's a lot of kind of surface bubbles that uh, we just I just couldn't get out. Uh, and there's top ones. And then there's one, uh, this okay, is hold it the up biggest one. See if, there we go. Yeah, get up a little more. See if we can get those glares out there. There we go. So down in here, this area, there's some deep bubbles. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to fix it, hopefully. And you guys are going to get to see how I uh, take care of those bubbles. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to turn this sideways. And I've got my little Dremel tool, and I've got a, um, a little, uh, like, deburr that's got a round tip on it, which I found works really, really well. And um, I'm just going to, to all of those bad spots, I'm just going to grind those out. You guys get the idea. I'm going to uh, completely take all of these little bubbles and bad spots out, get into that one, uh, wherever there's bubbles, and grind them out just like what I just did, and then we're going to re-pour the whole thing. So we're not going to show that on camera. Hopefully, we'll re-pour the whole thing and then, um, and then come back and show you, then show you the finished product. So stay with us. You guys relax for about 1.5 seconds. I'm gonna work for about four hours and it'll seem like no time has gone past at all. So hang with us guys. Hopefully in the next scene you will see a finished product. Thank you. Hey guys, all right, this is the finished product. So we're gonna have Vicky kind of zoom in on some spots. I'm holding it at an angle so you guys can kind of see the depth because straight on it doesn't really show depth like it does when you're looking at it at an angle. So um, anyway, I was really happy with the way it came out. So that whole deal where I, I used the Dremel and ground those holes seemed to work pretty well. It, it's certainly not perfect. I can see some flaws in it, um, but actually from a, a foot or two away, you wouldn't see flaws. But you know, me, I'm, I go over everything with such a microscope, but so I can see some flaws in it, but all in all, I'm really, really happy with the way it came out. I'm still learning this whole resin thing, um, but in my mind, it turned out like I hoped. The focus on this, uh, in fact, I was talking to a friend this morning, John, 
it was a buddy of mine that lives really close by and he was looking at it and he said that the thing that made this one kind of different is the focus isn't so much on the logo it's more on the board and that's what I had in my mind this stuff is such a beautiful grain and with the knots if I had sprayed the black the background black we would have lost all those little tiny knots and all that the the little grain uh, and all of that and I really wanted to showcase the board and the live edge and on this deal and the, you know obviously like I talked about the drawback with that is that everything shows there's no place to hide when you're when everything is crystal clear so it shows maybe a couple more flaws that it wouldn't have showed if I had sprayed the background black but I really wanted to showcase the diamond background I wanted to show the logo but I really wanted to showcase the type of wood too this white poplar I just love this stuff and I'm still learning on the um, on the resin so but fortunately we were able to um, we were able to fix it so anyway uh, still making mistakes still learning but that's what this process is about so one more time thank you thank you thank you to uh, Tamar and and her website if you guys haven't checked her out yet you got to go see her stuff I just I love all of the little tips and the tricks and her her account on stories on Instagram just awesome stuff so thank you again my friend uh, for the opportunity I will be shipping this thing out first thing uh, in, in probably first thing tomorrow um, I guess that's about it We've got more stuff coming up on Wednesday. I think we're going to be doing, uh, I'm, I'm not sure exactly sure what we're doing on Wednesday and Friday, but we've got lots more videos coming up. i got tons of different things to do. i got more reviews on different kinds of wood, some exotic stuff that I've never done before. i got all kinds of exciting stuff coming up, so you guys stay tuned. If you have any questions on this or anything else, obviously email me, eric at makerwoodsign.com. You can reach Vicky at vickywithdavesigns at gmail.com. We're on Instagram every day, make a wood sign. And I hope you guys had a great weekend. We have, again, some really cool stuff coming up. So stay tuned. We love you all. And we'd appreciate it if you haven't subscribed yet to subscribe. And don't forget to click that little bell icon. That tells you, gives you notification when we post new videos all the time, three times a week. And I'm out of breath. So we are out of here. Have a great one, guys. We'll see you on Wednesday. Bye-bye.